Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. With Intuit Enterprise Suite, you can create roles that set permissions for what users can see and do. Then, after you've set up the roles in your organization, you can add users so they can log in and work in Intuit Enterprise Suite. Let's go over how to set up users and roles in Intuit Enterprise Suite. To begin, select Settings. Manage Users. Note that you need to be an administrator to set up new users and roles. This is where you set up new users in your company. When you set up a new user, you assign them a role. Roles determine what a user can see and do. So before you set up any new users, you should look at your roles. Select Roles. Each role has a list of permissions that decide what a user with that role can see and do. When you set up a user, you can assign a predefined role, or you can make your own. Edit a role to see what a user with that role can do. Select a section to see all the permissions for that area. The Access checkbox gives a role full access to all operations in a section. View means the role has permission to see the feature, like a transaction, list, or report without the ability to modify it. If a role has Create rights, it means they can create a new transaction or list entry of that type. The Edit permission gives the role the ability to change something that is already in Intuit Enterprise Suite. Delete rights allow a role to delete something in Intuit Enterprise Suite. Be careful who you give this permission. And Approve access means they can approve pending transactions of that type. Select a section header to collapse it. If you make any changes to a role, make sure to save the role. Let's go back. You can also select Add Role to create your own custom role. Let's set up a new user. Select Users. Then Add User. Enter their name and email address. Select the Companies drop-down menu and select all the companies you want them to access. Then select Add Companies. Now select their role for each company. Note the user can serve different roles for each company. Select the trash can to remove a company from the list. And select View Permissions to see what they'll be able to do in the company. When everything looks right, select Send Invite. Then select Send Invite again. They'll receive a confirmation email that helps them set up a password and log in. If they can't find the email, you can resend it. This is where you can edit a user, including their name, email address, and role, or delete them. You can also view their user activity to see everything a user has done in Intuit Enterprise Suite. Now you're ready to set up users and roles in Intuit Enterprise Suite.